For many people, the McLaren F1 is quite simply the ultimate motor car. McLaren only built 106 of these 240 mile an hour cars between 1992 and 1998, and that's really not enough to go around. At launch, the price was £540,000, or a million dollars, but in the three decades since, prices have rocketed. They don't pop up for sale very often, and at a recent auction, chassis number 18 changed hands for a staggering $20 million. And this got me thinking, how many of these multi-million pound cars are registered in the UK, and do they really get used? There are a number of websites dedicated to tracking McLaren F1 numbers worldwide, but finding up-to-date information isn't that easy. Regular viewers will know that I love a spreadsheet, so I started my own research. McLaren F1s obviously change number plates, but they also change colour, interior and country. So tracking them down isn't as simple as you'd first think. Anyway, let's have a go. Out of 106 road and race cars made, there's 64 road cars and 5 prototypes. So really, we're talking about 69 cars. Except we're not, because at least 5 of them have been destroyed. One in Namibia, one for the Mira crash test, one in Brunei, one in the UK, which is a crazy story for another video, and one in Germany. Of the 64 remaining road cars and prototypes, I only want to discuss four today. Here in the UK, there's three things you need to drive a car on the road legally. An MOT, or safety test, some road tax, or vehicle excise duty, if you want to call it that, and some insurance. All you need to find this information is the license plate, or registration number. The road tax and MOT test data is freely available online and there's a free service to check if a car is currently on the National Insurance Database. There's a little proviso here and I have to thank Ian at Cherish Vehicle Insurance for pointing this out. A car will only show as insured on the UK database if it has a policy in place for road use. So I did some armchair sleuthing to find these 69 cars and crikey was it an interesting journey. I'll get into some of the more crazy McLaren stories in another video, but for now, there's only four cars I want to discuss. These four are in the UK and in use with tax, insurance and an MOT. Okay, that's a lie. One of them is about to get towed. So we'll start with probably the most famous McLaren F1 in the UK, the dark burgundy car once owned by Rowan Atkinson. This car has a fascinating story of its own that's been well documented elsewhere, but essentially what you need to know is Rowan Atkinson bought the car new and drove it quite a lot, famously crashing it twice. First in 99 when he rear-ended what I think was a Metro, and again in 2011, a slightly bigger prang that famously resulted in the UK's most expensive insurance repair, a staggering bill of almost £900,000. After McLaren had repaired the car, Atkinson kept it a little longer before selling it in 2015 for an alleged £8 million. You probably knew all of that, but do you know where the car is now? No? Well, me neither, actually. It was sold by known McLaren man David Clark, boss of Taylor and Crawley, who stated it had gone to a UK buyer. A quick check with Vehicle Smart shows it was first registered on the 11th of March 1997 and then again to a new owner in May 2015 when Atkinson sold it. The most recent MOT prior to that date had the mileage at 41,628 and I find it quite funny that it wasn't given a fresh 12 month MOT certificate when it was sold in the May. I guess you can't have it all when buying a car, even at 8 million quid. Anyway. After owning the car for just over a year, the new owner takes it for an MOT in July of 2016, where we can see that the car had done 809 miles between tests. Now, 2017 is an interesting year for Chassis 61 because it becomes the subject of a YouTube documentary by a Mr. JWW, who drove the car across Europe to attend the 25th anniversary celebration of the McLaren F1. It's a great film, and I can recommend taking a look. After the trip, the car returns home in the August and is MOT'd on the 13th, showing 44,667 miles. So it's done 2,230 miles since the last test. Between August 2017 and October 2018, the car does just seven miles. And after the 2018 MOT, it wasn't presented for a test again until 2021. On March the 17th, 2021, it passed another MOT test showing 44,868 miles, so only 194 miles were covered in three years. 
As I write this in October 2022, the car does now need an MOT. It has expired in March of this year. But interestingly, the road tax expired in August 2020, and it's not currently showing as insured on the UK database. So where is this famous F1 now? Has it been exported? Is it quietly racking up mileage abroad? If you've seen a maroon McLaren F1 cruising the auto routes of Europe or the boardwalks of California, or parked on the side of the road in London with a DVLA clamp on the wheel, do let me know. What do I think? I think the car might be in France. We're moving from purple to pink with our second car now, as we look at another well-known F1, owned by Pink Floyd manager Tony Smith. Mr Smith made a little bit of pocket money managing a small band known as Genesis, leading him to order McLaren F1 chassis 020. It was finished in blue metallic and first wore the number plate 13 Mac, but these days it's better known by the F1 T00 plate. In the early 2000s, the car went back to McLaren for the optional LM spec upgrade, including the high downforce kit. It's also now finished in carbon black with a red pinstripe. Mr Smith does use the car, and it is a frequent attendee at various events, as well as appearing on Top Gear. It has been presented for an MOT almost every year since 2007, only missing 2011, 13, 18 and 21. At the last MOT in January of this year, it was showing 45,624 miles. Let's hope Mr Smith continues to enjoy his car. After all, we don't want to see it confined to a garage to become just another brick in the wall. Sorry, I couldn't resist. There's two more cars that have got a triple whammy of up-to-date tax, insurance and MOT, and they are McLaren F1's 040 and 028. 040 was originally ordered in not quite Tyrrell's blue and not quite Bugatti blue, which was allegedly an industrial shade of blue when it was new. This is another well-used and well-known car, which by the MOT test in June of this year was showing 41,704 miles. This is also another car that was famously involved in a smash. It's quite hard to keep a car crash secret, especially when your car is one of the most popular the world has ever seen. I won't bother with the circumstances because useless speculation and baseless accusations are best done by either the mainstream media or car forums, but the car was repaired and then resprayed in what I think is the more attractive shade of blue alpha metallic. It now wears the plate J40 LCA and it sees regular use, although it's only done about 2,000 miles since the accident and respray around 2010. The next car with a triple crown of tax insurance and MOT is 028 and this beautiful deep red McLaren F1 first belonged to USA racing driver Michael Andretti, part of a compensation package after McLaren sort of gave his Formula 1 driving seat to Mika Hakkinen. Unfortunately for Mr Andretti, back in 1995 it wasn't actually possible to import an F1 into the USA, they simply would not meet the regulations, you know, land of the free and all that. The show and display law wouldn't come in until 1999. This is the law that does allow you to get cars into the country that don't necessarily meet regulations, but are special cars so you can bring them in and show and display them. After a year of paying storage and not being able to drive his F1, Andretti sold it and the car then went to Japan. In 2003, the car changed hands again, this time back to the USA, where it could now be used thanks to the amended law as we just discussed. It lived on the East Coast, before returning back to Britain in 2014. Over here, our MOT history starts on April the 17th of 2014, with the car showing 10,091 miles at the time. It has been for an MOT every year since, apart from 2020, but you know, Corona and all that. On the 21st of March 2022, it went for an MOT, which it passed, showing 14,362 miles. It has been seen out and about at various shows, most recently at the Goodwood 79th Members Meeting in April of this year, wearing its 7 GSM number plate. So there we have it. That concludes the road legal McLaren F1 debate. How many are on the road and running in the UK right now? Well, just three with MOT, tax and insurance, Tony Smith's car, the Blue Alpha car and the Andretti car. But that's not the end of my research on which F1 road cars are in the UK. There's more stories to come and they get really, really interesting. Thanks for watching.
Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car channel.